Secrets of Womanhood, inspired by true stories. Title sponsor, QBBG, excellent for cooking, baking, and barbecue. Associate sponsor, Papaji's, delicious vegetable delights. F&B partner, Casa, Grill and Mezabar, supported by Geo Energy Care. Wardrobe by Stalmart, trendsetters of Indian fashion wear in Singapore. You said we'll be back home in half an hour. What happened, honey? I'm sorry. Please let me explain. Where do you go? No. Sorry. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, now you don't want to sleep with me, is it? Huh? Three women experience domestic violence in the form of physical, sexual or emotional abuse. Seven out of ten of these cases are inflicted by our loved ones in our havens of home and in the guise of love. Sadly, these cases go unreported and have resulted in the loss of lives. Today on Secrets of Womanhood, we're going to be discussing domestic violence and we have with us four very special guests who are going to share their experiences and their stories with us. Please join me to welcome Aditya Kripalani. Welcome, Aditya. Aditya is a composer, singer, and lyricist of the song Mumbai Devi De Muchko Mafi, that is an apology to the women of Mumbai who have suffered violence and gang rapes. He will be sharing his opinion on domestic violence towards both genders. Please welcome Rosa Sharbagus. Welcome, Rosa. Rosa has suffered verbal emotional and physical domestic violence by her husband. She kept silent for years before finally gaining courage to come out of her marriage and heal. As a proud survivor, Rosa now motivates women. Please join me to welcome Sangeeta Nambia. Welcome, Sangeeta. Sangeeta has been associated with media for many years and her play The Silent Shadow brings out the agony of domestic violence. It talks about women suffering from domestic and sexual abuse. We have with us Mirlalini Venkatachalam. Welcome, Mirlalini. Coordinates activities that shine a light on often neglected women's issues, such as violence, trafficking, and condition of migrant workers. So let's get started. Rosa, what's your experience been with domestic violence? I've been married for about uh, 13 years. Um, it was a school sweetheart, so you can imagine the bonding was so close and everything. What happened was, he it's not so much of physical abuse because I don't want to be a punching bag and I, I hit back, you know. Uh, but it's a lot more of a verbal abuse. For example, oh, you're a prostitute, you're a slut, you know, and worse than that. It's been going on, you know, for the past 12 years. But after many years going through up and down, so I, I couldn't take it until one fine day, when he hits my father. I was so panicky at that time, you know, then I, I don't know what to do. Then he's scuffled and he wanted to take a hammer, you know, to, to hammer my dad. So I just stopped it, you know. I was crying and, and uh, I was shaking, you know. So I called the police and he fled. Then I was telling myself, well, he could have hit me or he could have just take a knife and poke at me one fine day. I don't want to be a victim of violence, like, to be dead and who would take care of my three children, right? But one thing I believe, if, if you really love someone, you wouldn't want to, to hurt that someone, right? So by, by doing that, 
I don't think he loves me. You know, he just love to use me, abuse me. You know, if I may say that. So, Mini, what's the incidence of domestic violence? Domestic violence all over the world happens to um, some form of violence happens to one in three women. It is largely from um, close partners. Here in Singapore, uh, there was research done, and we found that eight out of ten women will not report it. Only two out of ten will report it. Yes, Sangeeta, in your um, play. You know, why is there this silence? Uh, you know, sadly, Shan, the problem is that silence in a lot of cultures in women is seen as a virtue. So uh, when I was actually looking through and researching material for The Silent Shadow, one of the things I found was um, there was a website where it was almost live and women were posting things. And it was really sad to see a woman posting stuff like, look, I'm stuck here, can anyone help me? And my husband's beating me and I'm so many months pregnant, can someone help me? And then people are writing back saying, where are you? Can we talk to you? And, and suddenly there's radio silence from her and you know something's happened. Um, so she's trying to reach out in the best way that she can. Uh, but you also know of a lot of women who don't, who have no avenue, and even if they do, they will not bring it forward. So what's your perspective, Aditya, in terms of violence against men? Domestic violence is not a gender-based thing. I think it's wrong either way. Uh, it shouldn't happen to kids, it shouldn't happen to men, it shouldn't happen to women. So there's this whole uh, idea about there not being any legal recourse. So if, if a man goes into a police station and talks about being uh, going through domestic violence, uh, one is that people would laugh at him. So I've heard of cases like that also. What are some of the examples of where men have experienced domestic violence in the form of emotional or mental or financial abuse? One of my cousins got married and uh, he, he didn't know the girl he got married to. They just got married. It was an arranged marriage. And then uh, she basically used the threat of putting him under an anti-dowry case right. to be to use domestic violence, I mean, in that sense. Like, she was violent emotionally with him and his entire family because there was this constant threat Black of, if tail. you don't do this, then I'm going right. to go and lodge this case against you. And their whole family uh, was held to ransom because of this, for example. Why is it that there is silence still in, in the context of men? For example, in the case of women, there is the pressure of society and there's the pressure of what people will think of them. There's a the pressure of their parents. I mean, in India, at least, there's the whole idea of when you speak, an entire family gets broken. When a man speaks, it's all right. I mean, there's that whole yeah. thing. So for a woman to speak, it's even more difficult in that sense because she, it's strange how women have to think about the children and men don't seem to have to, but uh, it is how it is. Uh, factually, it should be changed, but I mean, we're only talking about what it, what is. So women have those pressures, but men have the pressure of being a man. It's a strange thing, but uh, I'm a man. How can I talk about being beaten by anyone? Forget about being beaten by so my wife. So it's the that gets yes. affected. So the, our sense of what it is to be a man, I think that gets threatened when you talk about how you've been uh, abused in any way. Uh, so I think that's another factor that people don't talk about it. So let's take a short break here and we'll come back and have some more conversations about domestic violence. QBB presents Secrets of Womanhood, inspired by true stories. I love coming for dinners at your place. Oh really? Why? What why? Don't you know? We love the food you serve. It tastes great. The taste is excellent. Well, the secret to my recipe is QBB ghee. But isn't ghee fattening? Oh, it's good fat. In fact, two spoons of QBB pure ghee on a daily basis gives you all the nourishment for good skin, body and joints. QBB pure ghee is trusted over many generations. QBB presents Secrets of Womanhood, inspired by true stories. Welcome back to QBB presents Secrets of Womanhood. We're talking about domestic violence today. What about this concept of, of you know, given the, the next generation and, and mindset development um, is through conditioning and the environment. The media is a very important part of the environment. It's very interesting that when I went to sell my film uh, in Bombay, one of the things that one of my friends, who also happens to be a distributor, did is he saw it and he said, Nechalega, madam. And I said, why? And he said, kuch sex, na koi violence, kuch nahi hai. Uh, and uh, to him, that was the, you know, uh, the, the way, yeah, the commercialization, and also that was the benchmark. What is a man thinking? I don't think he is thinking. Uh, but I, I do want to qualify this as one thing. You know, we're, we're saying what is the man thinking, but there are many women who abuse too. It, it is hierarchical. You know, it, it, you're right. It's, okay. it's this belief in power where there. And how do we get rid of that? 
I think, you know, belief in power, one of the clearest places you'll see it is with foreign domestic workers um, in Singapore. You know, there's there, a there, lot there of domestic violence, yeah. There was the case, um, which was quite well talked about, where there was the, the son who pinned the helper down and the mother poured, like, boiling hot water, water on her and then the, the daughter pulled out <laughs> the teeth, used pincers yeah, to pull yes. out her teeth. My friend has a charity that she works for, supports in Hong Kong, where foreign domestic workers get raped by their employer. Children are born and the, the wives are kind of like, just get rid of them. One thing that we don't talk about enough is um, choice. And actually, whether this is being done with your... Yeah, but that comes down to yeah. communication, right? Yeah. And I think yeah. it's even a, a yeah. case of if somebody is at home speaking with you in a way that is getting to the point of distressing, to communicate it as well. I think it's that like, I'm now finding this is disrespectful and it's not on. Yes. You I, have to put a stop to disrespect, mm -hmm. you know, then and then, mm -hmm. you know, or, or maybe you don't want to get into argument or hard fight. Okay, cool down, like what I said, for a few hours, give silent treatment. When he's cooled down, both cool down, talk about it. In your view, what would be the ideal law to pass that still hasn't been passed? So that I don't think it's about laws, honestly. It's about individuals taking responsibility for their own actions and just taking that step to look at what they do on a daily basis and um, see how they can make change. And if each one of us can just look into our own actions and make change, yeah. then that's a world movement that can change everything. So laws can, can be passed in every way. It's about the implementation. It's about the fact that there are people who need to um, follow them. Very much, we need to educate our children from home. Okay, like for example, women who is being abused, they are afraid to get out of it because of children, for example. In my case, I told my kids, girls, three girls, yeah, they were very young, said, uh, mommy and daddy cannot be together anymore because of da 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 da, you know, we cannot communicate, we just cannot live because they have witnessed the violence in the family, you know, so I make them understand this is not right. So you guys will not be wanting to grow up in this type of violence, you know, so I have to put a stop. So you teach your children and you have to teach the women. Okay, there, there's a saying, if you teach a man, you just teach a man. But if you teach a woman, you, you teach the whole nation. Okay, so women need to be educated so that we can disseminate the education to our children, be it boys or girls and everything, and say, hey, you know, it starts from home. So women need to be educated first of all. Let's take a short break now and then come back with our secret recipe for today as well as the rapid fire round. QBB presents Secrets of Womanhood, inspired by true stories. I love coming for dinners at your place. Oh really? Why? What why? Don't you know? We love the food you serve. It tastes great. The taste is excellent. Well, the secret to my recipe is QBB ghee. But isn't ghee fattening? Oh, it's good fat. In fact, two spoons of QBB pure ghee on a daily basis gives you all the nourishment for good skin, body and joints. QBB pure ghee is trusted over many generations. Our favorite hair grow back shampoo. Meet the Shampoo Hero Bio Royale Grow Back Shampoo. Daily use natural shampoo that can be effective for everyone. Bio Royale Grow Back Shampoo helps in the following ways. This is a secret that you'll want to keep. QBB presents Secrets of Womanhood. Inspired by True Stories. Welcome back to QBB Presents Secrets of Womanhood. I have my secret recipe for the day and I have with me the celebrity chef, Chef Dave Kisanmogam. Welcome. Hello. We've been discussing domestic violence today and so I think we need some nice tender loving care. What can you prepare for us today, chef? I'm going to do something vegetarian. Something yeah. nice and homely? And homely comfort food yeah. and uh, Indian fusion lasagna. Oh, nice. Indian fusion lasagna is a nice comfort food. Yes, it's really. So let's get started. What yeah, do we need so to do? There's many steps that I need to do because it's layers. So the first layer that I'm going to do is potato layer. Okay. The basic ingredients are just potato, white gram dal, mustard seeds, onion, chilies. I'll go straight to it. 
I like my mashed potato with ghee, potato of course, and milk. They make really really good combination. Okay, so you've got the QBB ghee. So I heat the QBB ghee. Right. Now I'm going to add in the urat dal. Add in mustard seeds. Mm. Let it wow. splutter. Add in the Smell onions. The... Okay. And green chilies. Nice. And uh, curry leaves. I have shredded the curry leaves. Okay. Okay. So, um, so that you will eat the curry leaves. Okay. So you can see um, the onions have sort of brown lightly. Yeah. So I'm just going to add in. A this potato? is boiled and diced potatoes. Okay. How many potatoes do you have? This there? is about an uh, three average. Three potatoes. Yeah. Please. Add a bit of turmeric. This is not only just for the colour, but also for the flavour. Mm -hmm. Add a bit of water, just a little right. bit of water because we don't want the potato to get stuck okay. at the bottom. Some salt. Great. So you add a little bit of water in there. So it's... Yeah, just to make sure that it's, it doesn't stick to the bottom. Yeah. I just cook this for a while until it dries up. Okay. And then we'll go to the next layer. So I'm going to do the second layer. Okay. And normally, a non-vegetarian lasagna has got a bolognese sauce. Right. A bolognese sauce is minced meat, beef, or anything like that. Mm. So since I'm doing a vegetarian one, I'm I have chickpeas, some kidney beans or rajma beans, lots of tomato for Great. that fibre and taste, garlic and ginger paste, nice. onion, pepper, some chilli and fennel for the flavour, for that Indian touch. Great. Yeah, and of course, my favourite, Chiribi ghee. So, I'll, I'll ghee? put in about one, one tablespoon of okay. ghee. Let it melt. Right. Fennel. Fennel seeds. And uh, you need to pound it okay. coarsely so that the full flavour of the fennel right, comes out. Right, so you pound it. So, it, yeah, either, it looks whole, but it's been pounded. Pounded okay. coarsely, yeah. So, add in the onion. Great and just saute this for a while. Okay, so when it's light brown, yeah. uh, this is ginger and garlic paste. Okay. Now I add in the tomatoes. Okay, so we use just uh, fresh tomatoes chopped. Chopped. So once the, um, the tomatoes soften a little, mm -hmm. we add in the chickpeas. Okay. Add in the And these are, beans. could be tin versions It can as be well. canned or you okay. can boil it. Some curry powder for okay. the Indian flavour. Some pepper, if you okay. want. Salt. Okay. Just a little bit of water. Mm. It has amazing smell with the curry powder and the fennel seed combined. It's a very interesting combination. So we, we cook this until it reduces a little and then we do the last sauce and that is the white sauce, the most important sauce for lasagna. Great, so we have three layers in the yes. lasagna. Nice. Okay, so we are going to do the, the last part of this and which is the most important one, the white sauce. Now the white sauce normally um, it's, it's quite difficult to do because you, you can either burn the butter or burn the flour. So therefore, I find that if I use um, QBB ghee, it doesn't burn because it's clarified butter. Clarified right. butter basically has got no impurities and has got no liquid there. Right. So there's no lactose sediments for it to burn. Right. So I'm going to add a little bit of cumin, cumin seeds. seeds. So while it's still sizzling lightly, I'm going to add in the ginger because the ginger has got so much moisture that it will sort of reduce that burning. Okay. That. okay. And chilies. Okay. And this chilli again, like I say, it's for the bite. It also has got a nice colour to the... Right. Okay, and some curry leaves. So in the meanwhile, um, I have plain flour here mm. and I'm going to mix the plain flour in water. In water, Yeah, okay. because see, normally, Traditionally, what they would do is um, flour and butter is mixed together mm -hmm. and then it's um, fried. Right. Okay, and then I'm going to add in the milk slowly. Mm -hmm. So, I add in salt. Yes. And we will wait. Now, at this point, we will not add enough salt. It means we don't taste and say this is the right taste because I've got to add cheese, oh, cheese. afterwards so the cheese has and the cheese salt. has got salt, right? So Great. we will just go easy on the salt now. Good tip, yeah. yeah. Okay, now in a while, you'll actually um, smell the aroma of the ghee, the, the QBB ghee plus mm, the, the milk and all the spices together. Now this, to me, is one of the best white sauces I've ever eaten in my life. It's yeah, my I, white love sauce. The, um, <laughs> I love the curry leaf uh, flavour in it. It's very nice. Right, once it comes to a boil, we can turn it off. Okay. 
can see the sauce has thickened. Yeah. Now I add in the cheese. Okay. Just stir it. And do we do this when we take it off the heat? Yeah, or? it's okay. finished. Done. Now that it's ready, we will do the layering. Oh. The white sauce. Okay. We'll always for lasagna, we always put it right at the base. Right. Because this acts like a gum. I'm going to put some raw vegetables here. This is okay. the lasagna sheet. You can buy this ready-made. You don't have to boil it at right. all because that's the reason why. Because I have raw vegetables here. As soon as it's baked, the raw vegetable will ooze out with liquid and that will cook this. Okay. And then it becomes very tasty. And then another layer of white sauce. Every layer should have some white sauce. All right. Okay, so I'm going to do alternate layers with the beans and the potato. Okay, so after layering, I'm going to sprinkle um, some cheese on the top as okay. well. So once I finish all the layering, I'm going to put this in a preheated oven of about 180 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes or until the cheese is brown. That was an amazing recipe by Chef Becky and now some amazing answers in our rapid fire round. Are you guys ready to win the amazing QBB gift hamper? Yes. yes. Let's start with you, Aditya. You're ready to go for it. Whom would you cast as a hero and the actress in a horror movie? As a hero, Krishan Kumar. He's Bhushan Kumar's brother. And the actress? Nargis Fakri. Rosa, romantic holiday in Switzerland <coughs> for three days or a one night with girlfriends in Bali? Of course, three, three days. In Switzerland. Uh, There's nothing in Bali actually. <laughs> okay. Sangeeta, if you had a chance to go back in time, what would you change in your younger years? I would definitely go to Hollywood and try and get in with George Clooney somewhere. Ah, Mini, would you say that you are the mother? or the social activist? I'm still figuring that one out. My baby's young enough for me to still figure out where I am. I think I can be a social activist mother. Nice, okay. So we have our QBB gift hamper. Congratulations, well done. Yes. And ladies, we're not going empty-handed. We have the Bio Royale gift for you, so it'll help you to grow your hair. Today on Secrets of Womanhood, we spoke about domestic violence. No one has the right to inflict physical, verbal, emotional or sexual abuse against another. Love, children, family, society, what people will say or think should not be the baggage that disempowers us to fight against domestic violence. It's our responsibility as media, society, employers, and fellow human beings to raise our voice against these secrets of women, domestic violence. So we may empower more men and women to convert these secrets into successes of womanhood. Till next time, may peace, happiness, and success be with you. Produced by Video House, an international production house based in Singapore.